Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking at is the Spider Puppet. So we'll go through this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a fun what if scenario and a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at the character of Spider Puppet. So far in our FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. This bug-themed pizzeria was home to a number of insectoid animatronic characters. So far we've met... Bella B, Roy the Rhino Beetle, Alex the Ant, and Melvin Mantis. All of these crazed animatronics had their own reasons to hunt down and attack the player. So far, our Night Guard has been doing a good job of fending off all these fearsome foes. But now, we come to our next character in the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. And this character is... The Spider Puppet. The Spider Puppet was the fifth animatronic character to be created for the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. With four other fully robotic characters being created before them, the budget was looking pretty slim to make another fully custom and original character. So the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria contacted Fazbear Entertainment to see what spare animatronics they could donate to their establishment. The manager requested something that looked as spider-like as possible. Something with long, slender arms and legs. Fazbear Entertainment had the perfect animatronic that they could remodel however the pizzeria saw fit. This certain animatronic has had a couple of troubles in the past, but it's nothing the Insect Kingdom can't handle. So a few weeks went by and the pizzeria finally received their donation. It came in a large wooden crate. The workers opened it up and revealed what Fazbear Entertainment had sent. This was quite the strange looking animatronic. The workers and engineers have never seen anything quite like it. The note attached called it a marionette or a puppet. It was strange and kind of creepy looking. But then again, what character at Fazbear Entertainment wasn't creepy? So the engineers got to work redesigning this old marionette model. The marionette came with extra limbs inside the crate as well. So they added two extra arms to their long, slender body. They decided to keep the white stripes as it added a bit of character and broke up all the dark colour scheme. Next, they removed the marionette's creepy mask and head. They replaced it with a much more spider-like head. Their head has four green eyes and two large fangs. On their lower back, they installed the classic spider abdomen. Finally, their spider creation was finished. They never settled on a name for the character. Considering they were a non-vocal character and didn't really look like the others, they instead opted to call them the Spider Puppet. So Spider Puppet's main role at the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria was that of the Face Painter. With their four long arms, they were able to paint the faces of four children at one time. They were programmed in multiple different face designs that the guests could select from whichever face paint style they wanted. Each of their green eyes would focus on the specific guests as they were painting them. So the Spider Puppet had their own exclusive party room. This room was called the Spider Web. This was where all the kids could come to get their faces painted and also do other craft related activities. During the day, Spider Puppet did their job well. They painted faces and kept the children entertained. But it was at night time when things got a little strange. So the establishment soon realised that Spider Puppet loved to be tucked away into small places. Most times the night guard would have trouble finding them. Until they realised they were tucked away in a cupboard or a locker. So the pizzeria took it upon themselves to make the spider box. This was a wooden box that was decorated with fake spider webs to fit the aesthetic. The first couple of nights, the spider puppet was reluctant to hide inside. 
but eventually they started to crawl into the spider box every night. This seemed to please them for the time being. But it wasn't long after until they required something else. So the night guard noticed on the cameras that the spider puppet had an obsession with eating real life insects. They would see them grab anything that wandered next to the box. The night guard isn't even sure how they were eating them. But they were in fact doing just that. Just like a real spider. This wasn't really a problem until they ran out of bugs to catch. They've gotten so good at it that they've completely pest controlled the whole building. But with no more bugs to keep them entertained, this now became a problem. If there were no more bugs left to devour, then they would eventually exit from the box and start wandering towards the night guard. The night guard can see them exiting the box and prepares themselves for this creepy animatronic to approach. As they walk down the corridor towards the right hand door, the night guard prepares to press the button for the door. But as they get closer, the strange occurrence happens. All the controls don't seem to work and the security monitor has turned to static. What was going on? As they peered their head through the door, they noticed that all their green eyes were missing. All that remained were four black empty holes staring directly at them. What on earth was this thing? As it entered the room, the security guard's body froze. There was nothing they could do. They had to sit there and wait for their impending doom. The spider puppet goes to strike the security guard when all of a sudden... The spider puppet just stood there motionless, then suddenly their eyes rolled back into their head and they walked out of the office. That was way too close. The security guard had to make sure that would never happen again. So the next day, they came up with a plan. They collected as many roaches as they could and put them in a jar. They then rigged up a special device that would allow the security guard to drop a roach into the spider puppet's box with the press of a button. This way they could keep them at bay throughout the night whilst also having to deal with all the other crazy animatronics trying to harm them. So this system seemed to work quite well. It kept the spider puppet happy and prevented a horrifying incident like that night from ever happening again. But if they ever ran out of roaches, it wouldn't end very well for the night guard. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always in our character concept series, the gameplay is modeled after the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. The night guard has been holding their own against the cast of creepy characters. But now they come up against another new threat. So throughout the night, the player would need to keep an eye on the spiderweb party room. They need to focus on the spider box and keep feeding roaches to the spider puppet. They would have a button added to their console that would dispense roaches and keep them at bay. Above this button would be a counter to show the player how many roaches they have left, and also a timer till it's time to dispense another. They would have to be careful not to dispense too many, as they would have a limited amount. Once they run out of roaches, the spider puppet would eventually exit from the box and make their way towards the player. So in the first couple of nights, spider puppet would be less active. The time between them eating the bugs would also take much longer. But as the nights go on, they would eat them quicker and quicker. Now the number of roaches wouldn't always be a set amount. The player would have to take extra notice of any other roaches crawling around the security office. Whenever they see one, they would need to click on them and they would automatically add to the counter. It helps to keep an eye out and add extra bugs to the counter. In the later nights, it's almost mandatory if you want to survive the night. But if you're not paying attention, they can slip by you quite easily. 
So whilst dealing with all the other characters, the player needs to pay attention to the roach timer, the amount of roaches, and any stray ones running around. If the player forgets to feed the spider puppet and runs out of creepy crawlies, then they would start to make their move. They would creepily exit their box and make their way towards the player. Once they fully exit their box, there's nothing the player can do about it. They just have to hope when they enter the room, it's almost 6 o'clock. Once Spider Puppet makes it into the security office, all the electronics would be shut down. They would peer inside and stare at the player for a short while. Sometimes the player can even see their eyes roll into the back of their head whilst in the doorway. The staring happens until... They are greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think the Spider Puppet would be an excellent addition to the Insect Kingdom roster of characters. They offer up another management gameplay mechanic and would really keep the player on their toes. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, do be sure to leave a comment down below what you thought of Spider Puppet and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, catch you later, bye.